What's up guys, this is Gamma Tech. We recently got the trailer for the final installment of DLC for Dark Souls 3. I'm going to go ahead and play it for you guys, and then we're going to talk about it, and some screenshots and artworks that were actually released. And be warned, there will be spoilers ahead. The close of the Age of Fire. The Ring City is said to be at world's end. Past this heap of rubbish, as far as one can go, First things first, the first thing we hear is the narrator, which seems to be the returning narrator from Dark Souls 1, talking about the end of the Age of Fire. Now we can all assume that th she's talking about this is the final push, this is it, we're going to bring about the Age of Darkness. We get to see the dark sign, and then she talks about the Ring City. Past this heap of rubbish. This heap of rubbish. I have a screenshot here released from the Dark Souls Facebook page, link in the description, and the description reads, Dreg Heap, the furthest end of the world. Various remains from different historical periods have accumulated over time, resulting in high towers. Kind of like how you see in the Kiln of the First Flame, where all these buildings and structures from different time periods are all meshed into a giant cluster of everything so we can see that it's bringing everything from different cycles from dark souls 1 dark souls 2 and it's bringing them all into a point here at the ring city and you might see things that you recognize such as this building right here this windmill thing that we see really reminds me of dark souls 2 in harvest valley where we come across mytha the baneful queen the monarch who drowned in poison so I think it, that just goes ahead and, and really concretes the idea that all these buildings from different historical periods, Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3, they all culminate in this place. In this segment, we can clearly see the Sword of a Vowel hidden in many places throughout just this trailer. And I'm not sure what that really means, whether that means that other Lords of Hollows have come through here before and tried to bring the Age of Darkness and failed, or whether it's just the ceremonial sword of Londor which just happens to be placed on top of buildings or something like that. And then we get all kinds of new weapons. We see right here this segment, we get a what seems to be a banner, it more likely a catalyst slash weapon combination or just a catalyst for probably miracles more than likely. Then we also get this crystal weapon, which has an interesting little animation as he brings it out. Like he whips it like, whoosh! Like, what's up? Like, bust that bitch out like a freaking lightsaber. It's even got the cross guard and everything. I mean, it's a short little lightsaber, maybe a Padawan lightsaber, but it's about time someone brings the whole lightsaber to a zombie slash hollow apocalypse kind of idea. I think that's pretty cool. And then we get this here bow. I, I'm not too sure how I feel about bows being that they, they don't seem to be very useful in PvP sorts of scenarios, but they are still good to use in PvE. Now, this bow is interesting in that it uses the power of lightning or is infused with lightning. 
And the only time we've seen that, I think, is the Bow of Want from Nashandra in Dark Souls 2. And I'm not sure if this is a throwback to it. It doesn't really look like the Bow of Want, so I'm not sure if it's a throwback or maybe a different variation of the Bow of Want or something like that, or something completely different. But if it if it does amazing amounts of damage, that'd be pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. And then we have this guy smashing our faces in, and which we actually have an artwork release from, from FromSoft on their Facebook page. The description goes as follows. A gray giant who has existed since the arch dragon was found. The giant used to be a judicator working under the gods. Now, I get a couple questions from this. First is, who the heck is the Arch Dragon? Have we found the Arch Dragon? Have we killed the Arch Dragon? Is the Arch Dragon in any of the Dark Souls games? Now, we know of Arch Dragon Peak in Dark Souls 3, where we fight the Ancient Wyvern and the Nameless King. So, where is the Arch Dragon? Another question would be, Judicator under the gods so the age of the gods is long gone that's dark souls one like back back in their days who was he judging what was he judging and then here we see some kind of moth thing which sort of reminds me of the moonlight butterfly in dark souls one but also reminds me of the pilgrims from dark souls three so maybe it's a an ascended pilgrim or something or other and then you could see of course the the dark sun in the back, in the background. This scene here, this scene here is very interesting in that, who's that lady? She's got this crown on her head, and it reminds me of the Firekeeper's crown, but it doesn't cover her eyes. But yet, she's also dressed like she has a gown like the gods would, the, the lords of Anor Orlando. For example, Yorshka. Yorshka wears a, a gown similar to this, or how... Or how Guinevere, the Queen of Sunlight, how she wore a gown. And it really reminds me of that. Now why she would have this egg here that seems to be charred. Or is this a dragon egg? Or is, I'm not sure what, what kind of egg this is. But as you see there, he touches it. And then it instantly just crumbles. And then we immediately go to the scene with this demon thing. Beating the crap out of this Ashen One. And then you can see there, he does some kind of Super Saiyan thing to go into the second phase of this boss fight. And then I also do have a screenshot of this boss fight that was uploaded by FromSoft on their Facebook page. And the description goes as follows. The last survivor of demons who were born from the flame of chaos, dwelling below the land. With a grotesque look, having been exposed to poison, their flame is fading away. Now what this could mean, I'm not too sure. The I, I believe that the old Demon King was the last survivor of, of the demons, the last one of his entire race. But it could also mean that maybe he's not the last survivor, but the last witness of the old flame. So this demon could have been born from that egg or something along those lines. So we all know from Dark Souls 3 how the demons are dying off and they're just a dying race but this demon here is probably the last one ever for real this time thank you so much for watching this in-depth analysis of the dlc trailer hope you enjoyed leave a like if you did and i'll catch you in the next one